Uh, so you had a distinction. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. They gave you, did they give you or you had it? Oh, um, I didn't even just know. It's, 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 it shall happen, sir. Sure. I also watch Korean movies and Chinese, and Chinese movies. Chinese. God, <laughs> this will go to YouTube. Oh, <laughs> YouTube. You had it. Shut up. <laughs> My name is Ige Gabriel Ario, and my nickname is Dr. Gebu, and I prefer you to call me that. Um, Fawaz, I don't, I don't have any nicknames, it's just Fawaz. My name is Esther, actually. I didn't expect it, but I, I kind of expected my physiology to be the highest. During the exam period, I didn't really, it was not really in my mind again, because the exam was somehow, Extension was there, so nothing really was in my head that much about the extension. So when it came, it was like a shock in a way. When I saw the results, it was blur at first. I actually thought it was the person above me that had the distinction. Sure you get. I thought it was around my corner, so I just felt like ah, this has to be me. So far, there's a distinction. And I was even sleeping when they called me, the result is out. <laughs> so I woke up to hearing the extension and everything. It was even a senior that called me. So. It was, it was really a thing of, I didn't really expect it that much. Yeah, I didn't because this is something big and you having it is really something big. So, well, it, it, I didn't expect it, but I thank God. I'm just weird. There's this rubbish chance that Mango is always shouting. This rubbish distinction boy chance. It's just, it's just banter, sure, but it's cool. Nothing, nothing, nothing so, nothing so special. Well, people have been calling me Gable stuff, Gable stuff. I really, what well, was well, so stuff here about distinction? <laughs> this is something big, and you having it is really something big. So, hmm, how are you guys? The thing is, reading and reading all over again, actually. It's not easy for you to read something once and then you absorb everything there. It's not practically not it's practically impossible to absorb everything you read at once. So I try to reread a lot of times. Especially anatomy. Try my best to reread. And when you're reading second time, it'll be easier and faster. I read not too long hours, but I watch a lot of videos. Like a lot of videos. I watch videos of like an hour plus because I hate sitting down for for too much hours, flipping pages and all those things. That's not really my thing. I watch videos when I wake up very very early in the morning and before I sleep because if you watch videos before you sleep, that's that's one of the first things you remember when you wake up in the morning. And the ones that are not clear to you, you can just go and just like confirm everything and it sticks. Actually, I don't read for long hours too. I don't read for long hours, but when I read, I try to get what I'm reading. I try to understand. So, and I was so lucky that I had friends around me who were like group partners. So we discuss, we understand the stuff, we share it, we argue, we talk, we play about the stuff. And I make sure that I eat breakfast. Like it's almost compulsory for me. If, if I'm not fasting, I eat breakfast every day. Yes, it aids my assimilation. And I even watched, I watched all the Champions League matches, all the knockout stages match. I didn't miss anyone. So it was, it was cool, sure. Okay, what I have is just, just try to understand. For physiology personally, just try to understand because almost all the systems, almost everything you guys will do, they are interlinked. Even the ones you are not able to cover, once you understand the ones, like once you understand what you've read, you will still be able to, you find out you are still going to be able to answer the question. Anyone that is trying to have a distinction should, I think, put it in mind because I, it was in my mind, you get. Another person may actually not put it in my mind and have it, but for me, it was actually in my mind. Be diligent. That's it. Just be diligent in whatsoever you're doing. How I define diligence is that you do things the right way, even though you don't see anything good coming from it. So just do what is right. What you're supposed to do as a student, just do it. People are different, actually. I started with guiding, and I enjoyed guiding throughout. Well, personally, I prefer Sembu. It doesn't really have all the details like guiding, but whatever you're not clear on, you can go and read it separately and just... It helps you to be faster and it's well arranged, so you can move very fast. If you just one, you get like 80%. But if you both of them, you will get like 95% of stuff about a topic you get. After reading it in Sembu, 
try to get your hands on get and after reading in the textbook it will be easier to read in another text because almost everything is repeated just this you you it's not easy for you just to pick the the um the ones that are not in the other textbook you know it's easy for you to pick them so like that